How's it going guys? The Cheese Ball here and today I am bringing you one very 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 sexy gameplay. I can't describe how sexy it is but it's actually not from me. It's from Floor Genius Witzo 2 from Big Footy and he goes 60 and 4 with the P90 red dot side. I'll be fucked if I know what his perks are or his point streaks, his special strike package, his proficiency on his P90, whatever. I'll be fucked if I know anything but he gets a Moab and he goes 60 and 4 and he comes second. He comes second and I don't know why but Camo is... This is a crazy game. Uh, it was six of us from Big Footy as per usual uh, just killing some domination as we always do. We win pretty much every game we play. I actually don't think we've lost a game when all of us have been on the one team when it's been a 6 v 6 Big 40 versus 6 randoms that are about to get their ass kicked game. I don't think we've lost. I mean, we, we've lost on the very rare occasion when it's been 3 of us, when it's been 2 of us. That happens. I mean, because when you haven't got a full party, you haven't got full control of the map, you haven't got full understanding of what's happening on the other side of the map where the other people are, and that shit happens, you know. That, that sort of stuff happens. But anyway... He gets a Moab, and that's sexy. That's really sexy. I mean, he does use the infamous dome spawn trap for a little bit. I mean, he probably gets six or seven kills with it, but I'd say only three or four of them are straight spawns, like that first kill there. The rest of them are, like, where he... He ducked down to reload and popped up and got a quad feed because he's that good a player, and he will do that. And that is... That's two kills straight up from the spawn and three now but really the spawn trap should be removed they really need to patch it the spawns are horrible and this is probably the best example you'll find of it and likewise with the mission spawn trap I don't know if you've seen it it is relatively new but I won't tell you how it's done but I'll just post a video link in the description to it I'll, I'll post it as an annotation or whatever but there's this guy on YouTube, ONG, it's Birdman, and he's a notorious spawn trapper. He will get in a party of six on demolition or domination. He will spawn trap the living fuck out of the other six people. And they will go 1 and 70 for the game, and their KDs will be annihilated, and they will go sit in the corner like they do in Call of Duty. They will sit in the corner of their bedroom and start crying because they've been absolutely raped, absolutely spawn trapped. And you have to see the video to believe it. There is a new spot on mission where you can just sit there with a light machine gun. He uses the MG36 and he gets three Moabs and he gets a 55 second one. And it's fucking insane as Wits gets his Moab there. I mean, if he's good enough to spawn trap for a little bit, no, I mean, if he gets the Moab mostly from good gameplay and, well, I'll say entirely from good gameplay because he didn't set up the spawn trap in an organized party with shout outs and stuff like there's a guy who just spawned over here can you kill him for me and yeah sure and all that sort of stuff I got a four man feedback there which was awesome I didn't point that out originally I was just like yeah four man feed oh wait four man feed that's that's cool I like that but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just focusing on my gameplay rather than wits and I shouldn't be doing that but this is just a great game I mean, if you are good enough to spawn trap without the organization of another party another five people on the other team telling you to spawn trap because I mean he was the only one getting the kills the other five people were sitting over on the bridge near nearer to B making sure the other team didn't spawn around there and that gave him all the kills and he went 140 and 4 or something crazy like that I can't remember the exact score I think it is 140 and 4 but to get three mobs in one game from spawn trapping and it's just stupid and I can't believe Infinity Ward hasn't released a quick hotfix to it I mean Fuck the fact that they're on Christmas break, man. This is a game that is played by multi-millions of people. Many millions of people around the world. And they, I I have paid uh, 78 plus 64.95 is... It's too late to do maths, but it's 142.95. I paid 142.95 for this game. And I deserve... <laughs> I, I want this game fixed. And... Same with the DLC. I don't want my DLC later than the Xbox players. I paid $142.95 for this fucking game. And I want it to work. 
I don't know. I don't want X points. I don't want lag compensation. I don't want delayed DLC because I I'm on the PS3 and PS3 users get shafted when they play Call of Duty and that's typical. But I pay good money for my game and I want it working. I want it working and that means no spawn trapping, no lag compensation, no other bullshit that gets ranted about consistently, and the spawns and the maps and I want DLC. I want my DLC because. The maps in this game are horrible, I need new maps. I want some favela, some terminal, some high-rise, some overgrown, some crash. I don't know. Bring back bring back the um, maps that you released as DLC for Modern Warfare 2 that were COD 4 maps, like Strike. I don't know. Bring back Pipeline. I always love Pipeline. I mean, it probably wasn't the most appreciated map by most Call of Duty users. I can't remember much from COD 4, but... Man, I love Pipeline. I don't know why, but... um. They really should remove that spawn trap from the game, and it makes me angry. I mean, I've never been caught in it, but if I do, controllers will be broken. I mean, I've said that many times, and who actually broken a controller? I mean, I have damaged the analog stick from dropping it on an old PlayStation 2 controller, but that's the only breakage from a PlayStation controller, and I'm pretty proud of that. But um, it makes me angry, and you don't like me when I'm angry. As you'll see in my AFL live video that I'll up upload in a few days, um, if you if you if you have a Turtle Beach headset, um, you've been shafted, like PS3 users with DLC, you've been absolutely shafted because my headset is six months old and that it's broken at the hinges and is held together. The earpieces themselves are held together by just the cord, which causes it to slip off, causes it to fall off my head. And it needs masking tape for it to be stuck all together. And masking tape doesn't stick forever. Which sucks. And I was playing the AFL Live video and it was close. Not the AFL Live video, the AFL Live game. And it was close. And the headset fell apart. <laughs> and I was very angry. Because I was doing a live commentary and I had to pause it a few times. And I was just not in a good mood. And it was like 3 in the morning and I was yelling and... I was very angry, and I say the word fuck about 20,000 times, and if you're a Port Adelaide supporter and or a Turtle Beach employee, you will probably not appreciate the video, as I get a double kill call. <laughs> I get a, a three-man feed. I get a three-man feed. How sexy is that? I and knew, I knew I get the double kill kill cam, but anyway, Wits going 60-4 and four with the Moab. Camo going 56-4 and four with the Moab. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get a Moab, fuck's sake. And I go 38 and 8, which was also sexy. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you could leave a rate, that'd be fantastic. And I will see you guys later.